Okay, welcome back to another video about just documenting my experience being a new solar owner and working on building like a self-sustainable suburban homestead. Part of me feels like a poser even using that word homestead because that just it's just such a thing on YouTube now. Um, and I just live in a normal suburban lot home. So if you were kind of like, a, you know, like if you've been involved in prepping or just being self-sustainable or self-sovereign for any length, like long period of time, that's just, I, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it. Uh, just like more people adopting it or whatever. I think it's cool. I think more people are thinking about it, obviously with just everything happening in the world. Um, but all of that introduction, because we bought a new build in California. New builds are required to have solar on them. Your new builds have to have solar on them. So the choices are you can finance or you can lease the solar or you can buy the solar. And I don't, I like buying things for whatever reason. Just some people are different. Some, I like buying it. And so I wanted it to just be owned. I didn't want there to be a separate payment. And especially because you could just wrap in the system into the mortgage. That seemed like a great deal. Like I already knew I was getting good financing on the house. Just throw it on top, require it. But so when I was dealing with Sunrun, Sunrun is who the installer was. We bought a DR Horton house. Sunrun is the installer. Um, they were like, okay, here's your four kilowatt system. And I was like, it's 12 panels. And I was like, okay, well that's awesome. Thanks so much. Let's make it bigger. And let's add a battery. Like now that we're doing this, like the fact that we're here and you know, like, we can afford it, let's do it. And they're like, no, you're not allowed to upgrade your system. Like it's already been pre-decided. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, can I upgrade it later? And they're like, yeah, call us back six months later. I'm like, okay, well, why six months later? Why can't it just be after I close on the house? They're like, they told me this at the time, but I'm gonna get to the conversation today. They're like, because you have to justify your usage. You have to show that you need it. Okay, that's very weird language. That's just like very weird language off the top, which is I've been learning all about like the politics of energy production and of solar production like happening in California. Um, but okay, so it was what it was, couldn't change anything at the time, closed on the house. We're now at like five and a half months into the house. So I'm calling up Sunra and saying, hey, like I'd like to work on uh, upgrading my system. Number one, this trips people up. When you say upgrade your system, like for whatever reason, solar, you can't, add panels you can't add panels like the you have to add a system so it'll come with another uh inverter and it'll come with more panels and you can you can make that and the second system larger but you can't add you can't upgrade a system so the one from sunrun four kilowatt system from sunrun with a solar edge inverter just is what it is and it's running um and i've done the other videos on how much surplus i'm creating how much energy my home is using so i'm on the phone with them and they're like hey, it looks like you don't qualify. And the reason why I don't qualify in Sunrun's eyes is because my, my bill to the utility company, Southern California Edison, is not high enough. Like, I've, you can watch the channel. I have a sense monitor in my panel measuring how much energy we're using so that I know how much, or how much energy we're creating, so I know how much energy we can use. We're being responsible energy producers and energy users measuring it, I'm throttling our personal usage so that we're not going over and owing Edison, but then the Sunrun solar company is refusing to provide me, let me, they're refusing to let me buy a second system because I'm not using more than my capacity right now. So they want me to wait, so they want me to run over my solar production I almost used the word waste, but it's not waste because I'm using it. But they want me to sh run over my production, owe money to Southern California Edison before they'll give me the privilege of buying something from them. And so when you're on the phone, them you're saying, well, why do you want to upgrade your system? And I'm like, uh, because I want to be energy independent. Like apparently is not a good answer. Like don't tell Sunrun that on the phone. Tell them you need to run your AC more or you're thinking about getting an electric car or something. Like simply wanting to be energy independent is not enough for them. Like you're not allowed to list that as a reason. So contrast this, like, and here's props or props are due. Like when you live chat Tesla and when you call Tesla on the phone and say, hey, I want to be energy independent. Can you help me put more, you know, energy production on my roof? They say yes. And they give you a quote and they like push you to check out online right now. There's not like a Mickey Mouse hoops game to jump through. So 
yeah, I just really had to document that and like say that out loud right now. Cause I just got off the phone with Sunrun and Tesla right now. And dude, I really just wish Elon would figure out this Dogecoin thing and quit messing around with it because Bitcoin and its connection to energy is very, very powerful. And Tesla as a company is obviously doing something better than Sunrun's doing. So all the like solar haters and stuff out there, like Tesla is truly doing a great job from everything I can see so far. And to just kind of the larger solar community, it's just confusing why, why was a company like Sunrun make it so hard to like install more capacity? Energy is positive. Humans creating energy where they live is positive. Like, here's a water battery right here that I invested money into so that we have water backup at this house. Let people do the same thing for their energy. Like, solar is awesome. Like, I've, owned, I've already learned that from five months of owning it, and I'm pumped to add more of it. It's weird, the politics of it all. But energy is political like human human beings like we have the ability to be in charge of our own life and live somewhere where we can control the energy we use and the energy we create and who we are as humans like central planning is very frustrating and yeah i'm just seeing more and more side of it through uh through this whole solar thing so that's it Thanks for watching the channel. Look, if, you, if this is your first video, you haven't seen any of the others, like you can watch the breakdowns of how I've showed that at home Bitcoin mining pays higher than net energy metering and it can finance systems better. Like I will be able to buy this another system from Tesla and get a faster ROI for myself because of Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining pays higher than net surplus compensation from the utility companies. That's why it's powerful for independent energy producers. That's why. Because instead of having to run the numbers of getting paid back three and a half cents from my surplus, I'll be able to get paid back higher than that through Bitcoin mining, which means I'll be able to run the air conditioning more for my family, which means I'll be have the lights on and the refrigerators running more for my family. And then whatever we produce that we don't need, we'll be able to secure the greatest monetary network in the world that is helping people get away from the financial repression that they're living under. That's super powerful. And that's the way that being an independent energy producer and Bitcoin mining fits together. And this is a short rant about how other solar companies need to get dialed in to let people be energy independent as their reason for adding more solar. See you in the next video.